First, he was accused of murder in Henry County back in 2016. Tonight, he's a free man. Today, a jury acquitted Matthew Baker in a quadruple homicide. Good evening. Thanks so much for joining us for Fox 5 News at 10. I'm Tom Haynes and for Russ Spencer. I'm Courtney Bryant. Now his mother is reflecting on his difficult path to freedom. Fox 5's Christopher King joins us at the live desk with this story. And Christopher, what did she say? Well, Courtney, Tom, she's beyond happy. Angie Lanier's son, Matthew Baker, was facing the death penalty. She had to wait nearly eight long years for a jury to find him not guilty. They've been rough. They've been really rough. Angie Lanier and her son have been through hell. And he's just been keeping his face. Her son, Matthew Baker, back in 2016, was charged with murdering four people. He's been in jail ever since for a crime a jury found her son did not commit. Just fighting, just fighting and fighting and fighting. Prosecutors accused Baker and four other suspects of shooting and killing Destiny Olinger, Matthew Hicks, Keith Gibson, and Sophia Bullard at a home in the southern end of Henry County. He said, I didn't, I didn't do anything. He said, I didn't kill nobody. I'm innocent. Prosecutors even offered Baker a plea deal that would have kept him behind bars for decades. He said, they're trying to take my whole entire life away from me. He said, well, I'll never have kids or anything. Jacob Kosky eventually confessed and said Baker was innocent, but Baker remained behind bars. He was on 23-hour lockdown where he only got to come out for an hour. Then on Monday, a jury in Henry County found Baker not guilty on all 30 counts. When you hold your newborn baby for the first time, and that joy that you feel in your heart when you see your baby. Now her son wants to restart the life he left behind. Right now he just wants to spend time with family. Now Lanier says Baker prays for the victim's family. She says her own family has been getting death threats. So right now they're in hiding. And she says right now she just wants to make sure her son is safe. At the live desk, Christopher King. Fox 5 News. Mm, what a story. Christopher, thanks.